Hey Canucks fans, and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for May the 25th. Earlier today, the Vancouver Canucks pulled off what you could call a major trade. They dealt for Jared McCann and their second and fourth round picks in this year's 2016 draft to the Florida Panthers in exchange for defenseman Eric Goodbranson and Florida's fifth round pick in this year's draft. As expected, Twitter went crazy as soon as news of the trade broke. People turned their attention away from the Cleveland Cavaliers demolishing the Toronto Raptors to talk about the trade, and a lot of people weren't happy. They cited McCann's age, McCann's potential, and the second and fourth round picks going away as reasons why they did not like the trade. But right now, I want to give you three reasons why the trade makes sense for the Vancouver Canucks. Number one, Eric Goodbranson feels an immediate need right now for the Canucks, and that would be the need for a top four right-handed defenseman. He's big, he can move the puck, he's got a heavy shot, and already Benning is touting him as playing with Ben Hutton for this upcoming season. It ends up bumping Lucas Visa down to the third pairing, likely to play with Nikita Trampkin to start the year, and of course the top pairing will still be Chris Tanev and Alex Edler. What it also does potentially is take some of the pressure off the Canucks to acquire a top four defenseman through free agency, whether that be a Dan Hamhuis or Chris Russell, an Alex Golgowski, Keith Yando or whomever. Secondly, Jared McCann was slipping further and further down the depth chart. With Henrik Sedin, Brandon Sutter, Bo Horvat, and Marcus Granlin pegged as the top four centers for next year, there simply was no room down the middle for Jared McCann. Sure, they can move McCann to the wing, but I think the Canucks are looking at other players like Brock Besser to fill that role in the next two or three years. And don't forget, with the fifth overall pick in next month's draft, the Canucks are likely going to take center Pierre-Luc Dubois or winger Matthew Kachuk. With Dubois, you obviously have another center that would push McCann even further down the depth chart. And with Kachuk, you have a forward that could step into the lineup right away and basically fill the role that McCann would have. A third reason, and admittedly this might be a bit of a stretch, is I believe that Jim Benning really likes these, quote, character guys. And it sounds like Eric Goodbranson, from everything I've read and heard, is one of these character guys. He's a 24-year-old defenseman, could develop into be a locker room leader over the next few years. With McCann, there are rumblings about his immaturity, and even the Sedins made veiled references to his commitment and character. Granted, I don't know what else you'd expect from a 19-year-old just breaking into the league, but I wasn't in the locker room. As with any trade, we're not going to be able to really declare a winner or loser until a few years down the road. But for now, this solves a supply and demand problem for the Canucks a little bit. They were shallow at D, they were deep at forward, and thus they traded one of their young forwards for a solid top four D-man. It's shaping up to be an interesting summer for our hockey team. Thanks for watching, leave your feedback below, and I invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. God bless and go Canucks go!